Do you want to learn how to read the tarot cards? I have a fun, interactive class that will teach you three strategies to improve your tarot card readings, therefore helping you to make some money on the side. You will learn how to read complicated combinations so that you can tell a story to your clients. The class was $39.95. Now it's $19.99 until the end of the month. The link to the class is in the description box or at the top of the comments section. Or if you want private to road tutoring, I'm available for that too. Contact me at 470-835-7099, but the link to that is in the description box too. L -l -l Libras, my darlings, how are you Libras? Let's see what we have going on here, Libras. Let's see which sign is going to be impacting you the most this week. Which sign is going to be impacting Libras the most this week? All right, we have a Virgo. All right, someone that has a Virgo placement, perhaps. Can you see that? All right. We have, let's see, another, oh, we have another Libra, someone with a strong Libra placement. All right. Who else is going to be impacting Libras this week? I see a Cancer. And you may or may not know the placements of, of your bosses or these people that are going to come in your life. But I see a strong Virgo influence, a strong Libra influence, a strong Cancer influence. I definitely see a Sagittarius. Looks like a Sagittarius might be coming back. And I don't know what this is. I'm thinking it's the Capricorn, you guys. What do you think? And a Capricorn. Those are the signs that might be impacting you this week, Libra. Wow, it looks like life is getting ready to take a turn towards the better here. Some new doors of opportunity open here with this. Uh, oh, let me get this. Ah, okay. Some new doors of opportunities open up here with this key. I see a groom here with the bride. Some of you could be getting married, talking about marriage, maybe to a Leo, someone who has Leo in your chart, or you guys are moving in that direction bravely. Somebody's moving in the direction of marriage very Oh, you can't even see it, huh? huh? Somebody is moving with that lion here in the direction of marriage very bravely, maybe to ah, another Libra. Somebody with Libra in their chart is very close to you, my darlings. Yes, my darlings. I see 10, 10, 1, 11. Some of you have very difficult very difficult relationship with a Taurus here. Maybe a Taurus with the A in their name could possibly live in Virginia. I see a V, right? Could have a V in their name. I see an X. I also see an O, right? I see new, yeah, you're definitely moving towards marriage. Maybe to another Libra here or to a Leo. Maybe even with a Taurus or anybody, really. It says live, laugh, love. You need to have more fun though. But I definitely feel like there's something very permanent that's moving in your life this week. You guys, you could have marriage, marriage, marriage on the mind. Hey, Libras. Ooh. Okay. Huh. I always feel like somebody's watching me. <laughs> Be careful of fake pages. Uh-oh. Be ooh, in social media. Wow. I see some ooh, look, incoming incoming communication. Okay, well shit. <laughs> they they did not come to play, did they? They came to slay. These cars ain't messing around. 
somebody has some fake pages in social media and they be watching you and they're getting ready to contact you either through Instagram, Facebook, or through YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, something up. Uh, look at this. For some of you, this could be a catfish. Uh-oh. I know an Aquarius who started getting this incoming communication from someone who had been kind of peeking out her profile for a while um, from Facebook and he pretended to be this African Libra. Yeah. Mm hmm. Who just just really was just interested in getting to know her. And I warned her, I warned her. He's, I said, within a few weeks, he's going to start asking for money. Do you know what she said? She said he didn't start asking for money into six weeks. So it doesn't count. Yes, girl. She started giving that man money. An Aquarius. Child, we Libras, we just too damn... Uh, charming, just too damn charming for our own good. But yeah, child, I see a catfish here and I warned you. Oh, for others of you, it could be a sneaky link. It could turn into a sneaky link. So I see somebody reaching out on social media. They've been peeking your profiles for a while. They could be a friend, but they could have a fake page too. Right? For some of you, be careful because it's a catfish, but for others of you, this might turn into a sneaky link, and this is going to take place in the winter season. Some are saying, I'm tired of being long, alone. I want someone who knows my worth here. I feel that the catfish is emotionally immature and a player. Yeah, that's what the cards are saying. that the catfish is emotionally immature and a player, right? But the sneaky link, the cards that come on top of him, has him being a mysterious lover, somebody who you are going to try to have to figure out here. And one of you, somebody is an alpha female. Quite interestingly enough, I, I feel both male and female energy being interested in you. I don't know if you're one of those pretty Libras that both sexes are attracted to. I'm not saying you reciprocate the attraction, but um, I definitely feel like there is very strong attraction towards you from someone here. All right, Libras. Let's take a look at love. Where is the torch at? Sometimes this uh, Palo Santos is hard to light. All right. Let's take a look at Libra's love. Those who are watching the video. So Libras, this is your overall tonality regarding your relationship. Okay? Journey. Okay, so you feel that you guys are moving forward. And you want to move forward in this relationship and take the journey in, uh, into the future. So there's somebody who you see a future with. And this is somebody who's very important to you. So, how do you feel when you're with your partner? How do you feel when you're with your partner? So, Libra, how do you feel when you're with your partner? All right. Libra, how do you feel? Okay. Main female. Hmm. Looks like 
you feel like this partner of yours is somebody who you want to have as a permanent partner. Mm -hmm. It looks like you feel very certain that this is the person that you want to move forward with. Yeah. So this is the person you want to most move forward with. Um, what do you need the most from your partner right now? What do you need the most from your partner right now, Libra? Libra, what do you need the most from your partner right now? You need for them to be cool, calm-headed, committed, um, temperate, moderate, balanced, low-key. I'm looking at the brown. Dependable, reliable, because apparently those are the things that turned you on. Now, your whole body is turned towards this man, and his body is turned towards you, and both of you guys are looking towards the future. So... You just need this man to be stable and consistent. Mm -hmm. What can you do to strengthen the bonds um, between the two of you? What can you do to strengthen the bonds in this relationship what can you do to okay high honor be an example um, maybe talk about marriage high honor that's the next that's the highest honor of a relationship marriage but be an example what advice does the cards have for you? No, um, not that. Yeah. Okay, let's finish that. What advice do the cards have for you in this relationship? What advice do the cards have for you to make this relationship successful? Work on maturing. Hmm. Work on maturing. Huh. Wow. Okay. Be be a mature woman. Like respond the way that a woman would. Like be an example is what I'm getting. Be an example of how you could be with the water sign. You know, they just kind of follow whatever the leader is doing. You know, they are a reflection. Be an example. Work on maturing. Really work on maturing, like, emotionally. You know, like, there's five characteristics of an adult, according to Pia Melody. You know, and those characteristics makes you mature. That's somebody who is moderate. Someone who can take care of themselves. Someone who esteems themselves with proper boundaries. And I forgot the fifth one. Oh, self-awareness. All right. What attracts you the most to this person, Libra? What attracts you the most to this person, Libra? What attracts you the most to this person, Libra? Message of concern. Reverse. I think they're laid back for the... Mm, 
I think they leave you alone. They give you your space. They're laid back for the most part. Maybe they have a laid back personality or they, or they don't, or you don't have like a lot of things to worry about, like other women, other men. Let me clarify message of concern reverse because you're not supposed to read them. Uh, reverse you're not supposed to read kipper cards reverse so if i turn it right side up and i read it that way and i ask what um do you like the most i feel like you might like their communication that you know they tell you what concerns or bothers them There was this spread that I saw that I really like. Okay, hold on. All right, here we go. Um, here we go. What is the energy between us? Huh? Damn. What is the energy between us? Well, the energy that you have, Libra, is that you want to go forward with this. And this person, when you're together, you feel like this is your main person. But now let's ask, how do you really feel about your partner? Did we ask that yet? Did we ask that? No, we asked, what did you need from your partner? And then we ask, what did they need from you? All right. How do you really feel about your partner? Libras. Libras. How do you really feel about your partner? Libras. Libras. How do you really feel about your partner? Libra. Libra. Message. Again, communication. Um, hmm. Huh. I feel that you feel good about your partner. You feel solid. You feel like with the phone, their communication is good um, or that they're there. If you need them, they pick up the phone. If you want to talk to them, I feel like these are invitations to um, get married. You might love somebody so much and care about someone so much that you actually want to marry them. I feel like you love this person and this is a person that you want to marry. What is the greatest strength of the relationship? 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 These are fortune telling cards. They're just like tarot. They just are what the Germans use. Okay. What is the greatest strength of this relationship? Libra. Ooh. The greatest strength, you're not really supposed to read Kipper upside down, but the greatest strength of this relationship is that neither one of you are going to end it. Both of you are in it for the long haul. All right. Neither one of you wants it to end. That's what I'm getting intuitively. 
What is the biggest challenge we're going through in the relationship? What is your biggest challenge right now? Despair. Somebody might be suffering from depression. Some of you are actually feeling despair or some of you could have broken up with someone and the cards are saying that that's a good thing because the relationship needed to end. But, um, but that coffin card came in upside down. Yeah, that coffin card came in upside down. So the biggest challenge is despair. Sometimes you guys feel despair, like this is not going to work. We're too different, you know, but you guys... So now what we're going to do is take a look at these questions from your person's perspective. Okay. So we see that you want to move forward. You want to go forward. You see this person as your main significant other, and you're ready to send out the wedding invitations, or this could be the cross watchers energy that I'm picking up. And the Libra is the divine masculine. All right. So. This is how the opposite energy of the ones that I just read is feeling. So how does your person feel like today, right now? What is the tonality that they have regarding your relationship? This is how they're seeing things right now in the relationship. All right. This is how does your person really feel about you right now in the relationship? How does your person feel when you two are together? What is, how does your person feel? What does your person feel is the greatest strength of this relationship? What does your person feel is the greatest challenges in this relationship? What does your partner need from you? What will it take to make this relationship work? And what advice do the Tarot have for you? And, uh, we have expectations saying, be careful what you expect because that's what you're going to get. If you expect to succeed and make this relationship work, that's exactly what's going to happen. If you expect it to fail and it's not going to work out, that's exactly what's going to happen. So expect to succeed and you will. All right, Libras, thank you so much for tuning in and watching your video. I am now going to do this extension for you. And if you want to see the extended version of this video, the link is in the description box at the top of the comment section. And this is Kipper, which is a form of Tarot, just in Germany. Still same fortune telling cards with the same ability. In fact, I think it might be slightly more accurate in my personal opinion. Thank you for watching Libras. I hope you enjoyed your, uh, your video and God bless.